I'd really like to film this video and have it uploaded. people but sometimes you kind of just have to hate them so if you guys didn't hear the news Michael caught his hair on fire performing a show today and it's all over my Twitter and I felt that I need to talk about it because of all of the different reactions that are coming from it everything that's just floating around it's kind of hard to see what the truth is and what's not there is a video clip which I will play over here for you guys and I will link it in the description if you guys want to go and watch it um, with the audio and stuff but Michael was going up a ramp and he went past the blowers which were shooting flames so it shot out flames and he walked past it and what I'm going to assume happened was while he was walking because you know he created a gust of wind and it kind of just sucked it up with it and it caught his hair on fire um, the reason why I'm making this video is to rant a little bit because there's a lot of shit going on with people complaining. Okay, this is what I'm going to read. This is my little rant. Michael's hair caught on fire and fans are complaining because the show ended early. If it was you, would you continue performing if you were in pain? Also, he went into shock. I guarantee he wanted to finish the show and was upset he couldn't do so, but grow up and take his health into consideration. If you go to a concert, right, you're most likely there to see the people performing, and if you're seeing the people performing, that most likely means one, you like their music, two, they're your idols, which comes with liking their music, three, they're people you look up to. So, I mean, if I was to treat like an idol or someone I look up to, I'm gonna view them as I would view family. And if somebody you were really, really close to was injured in this situation, would you want them to continue or would you want them to seek medical attention? Like, where is your brain working right now? Do you even have one? Second, um, there's a bunch of junk floating around about security and I honestly don't know if it's true or not because the security, like, I've heard of a lot of terrible security experiences, but I've also heard of, like, some really good ones I guess I don't know I don't know about the security thing so I addressed it because I don't know if it's true or not but it says I said this junk floating around about security joking about it or blaming him you never joke about anyone famous or not getting injured in any situation and it's normally not their fault it's never intentional so they're not an idiot or a dumbass accidents do still happen and an accident is unintentional if their security actually said that, then I definitely hope that Five Sauce steps up because I know they probably don't take that crap and they'll get rid of them and find someone better. Um, if this is just a joke or like something somebody started for attention or just figured this is like their moment to shine by posting a lie that they knew was going to spread all over the place, that's really immature and unintentional and you're taking someone's pain and turning it into your benefit by giving you some form of popularity by posting a lie. I don't know if it's true or not, so that's why I addressed it both ways. Like, if it's true, those security workers will not be working with them anymore, and if it's a lie, whoever started it needs to grow up. Um, and then again with the whole money situation, like, if you seriously are more concerned about your money's worth than someone's health, like, in any situation, so that's the situation. Um, as for Michael, he was, like, the show was ended early, um, the boys all went to the hospital, um, Michael was in shock, he went into shock. As far as everything's being posted is he's gonna be okay, he is okay, I don't know how severe the burns are, I don't know how much hair he lost, I don't know any of those details. There are also so many really supportive fans on my feed, like, in all their posts about Michael, and I think that it's really cute, and definitely supportive and I think it's important and some people may think we're overreacting um oh there's actually a video of Ashton talking to the crowd hey guys um just quiet for two seconds uh, Michael has hurt himself so we will not be continuing the show right now just want to say thank you so much for coming uh he is okay you guys have been the best crowd we could ever ask for tonight thank you so much 
So um, the crowd was actually addressed on the situation and Ashton says that he's okay. So we're going to go with he's okay. But I love you guys. I love you, Michael. If you're watching this, you know, stay safe. Don't catch on fire anymore. It sounds like I'm making a joke out of it, but I'm really not. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Michael just posted a tweet and it had a picture of him after going to the hospital and he's got like a bandage on him. So this is like a little late thing, but I'll insert the picture here and the link to the tweet will be in the description as well as all the videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and again, love you Michael, love you all, stay safe.